Having world-class images in your portfolio is one sure way to grab people's attention, but what if you can make those images come to life? My name is Siobhan Wong and I'm a fashion, beauty and advertising photographer from Singapore. I started doing these things called living stills where I actually incorporate animation into the still image that I've been shooting. My goal of this tutorial is for you to be able to create your own living stills and set your photography apart from the rest. Now you may have heard of cinemagraphs before and that's basically where you take a video clip and you kind of cut out areas of the video that you want to be still and you cut out other parts that maybe you want to move a little bit and repeat themselves. This is not that. What Siobhan's doing here is she's actually taking a still image and then animating parts of the image manually in After Effects once she gets back to the computer. This is totally different than a cinemagraph. Now, I know what you're thinking. You've never used After Effects before, but don't worry, Siobhan's gonna show you only what you need to know so that you're not spending a whole bunch of time learning another piece of software. While teaching this tutorial, I assume you already have some knowledge in lighting, shooting, and editing. So I will not go into detail about everything I do, but I will definitely cover all that you need to know into creating a living still of your own. Now there's a lot that goes into creating one of these moving images. You can't just take an image and animate it. You really need to think about it before you even start taking the original image. And Siobhan goes over all of these details in this tutorial. Throughout the shoot, Siobhan is gonna make sure that you know what to take into account so that you don't have any hiccups when you go into post-production. In order to make sure that I can do the composition for her earring much more easily, I'm gonna get my stylist to come in and remove her left earring and so I can take a plate for the shot. Once we jump into post, I will give you a brief look on how we clean up the image, but then after that, we will go into After Effects, which will be really the meat of the tutorial. We wanted to make this very easy for you guys to follow along, so we've provided the RAW files, the PSD files, and the PNG files that we will use to animate in After Effects. You can see the mesh. Let's move this one down a bit, and this one up a bit. And you can see the wave of the skirt moving a little bit. If you purchase this tutorial, you'll be invited to Siobhan's secret Facebook group. This is one that I'm probably more excited about than any of the other Facebook groups because I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Siobhan's work is amazing. If your work is half as good as hers, this is going to be one of the most interesting Facebook groups we've created so far. Now, Siobhan has obviously spent a ton of time perfecting this technique for her own portfolio. But while we were filming this, I kept thinking, man, this could be used for so many other applications. Everybody is a photographer today. Everyone wants to be a professional photographer today. What are you doing to stand out? These living stills are unlike anything else that I have seen on the internet, and I guarantee you, if you're looking for a way that your images can stand out, if you're looking for more clients, this is definitely a way to do it because I've never seen anything else like this on the internet. This tutorial will give you the basics to creating your own living stills, but I hope you take this knowledge further and apply it creatively to your own workflow.